the only thing to say about Ricada is that um, Kino Casino has made Ricada like their new thing. They talk about him on on their streams, and Ricada is now getting like mad at <laughs> at PPP. <laughs> it's it's so hard. Like you, can, if you're here's my advice to a creator on YouTube: if you are you know someone who does videos and PPP is making fun of you. No, don't don't ever talk about it because how the fuck are you going to point to a stream of PPP who is like literally 400 500 pounds and shirtless just like sitting there and just laughing at you how are you going to point at this guy and then and say that guy is a bully that guy is not being fair to me what a jerk he is because if anyone looks at that they're gonna think why are you even talking about this guy why why would you ever mention him ever um, I don't know. Uh, PPP has just been saying that Ricade is an alcoholic with holes in his brain, a white brained alcoholic, and and he's like, oh yeah, PPP really cares about my my addictive personality and my my alcoholism. It's he really cares, and that that's it. That's that's the only thing that Ricade has done. He's he's if you open up the Alyssa Clips channel and you look at all her recent clips, it's all just Ricade standing in the fucking kitchen. Anytime you see Ricada in the kitchen, he's saying some dumbass shit and he's complaining about PPP. And what else is he complaining about? I'll just pull it up real quick. See, see, see what my man in the kitchen has to say. Simpcast 100 shit show. I don't know what that is. Um, Kino Casino is very concerned about Nick's alcoholism and getting physicals. And that's it. Apparently he hasn't been doing too much. Nobody's been talking about him. He's, he's said more dumb shit on Twitter, but that's about it. That's your, uh, the totality of the, uh, of the Ricada update. Uh, it's been a short stream, so I will, I will take this opportunity to fratern, fraternize with the chat. Chat, how are you doing? What's your plans for the weekend? You got, any, you got, you trying out any pizzas, any hollandaise pizzas? Oh, religion. Oh, that's the one thing that he did talk about. He um he went off about abortion because Ohio passed this thing, which I mean, adding abortion to your constitution seems weird. Abortion is one of those things that's like I wouldn't put that in a constitution because it seems like people's opinions about abortion change pretty rapidly. But they passed that and he made like a big stand about how these people, they just don't care about life. They just don't care about life. They, I have babies, and I know babies, and I, I love babies, and they, they want to murder babies. I was like, bro, you've been on the off the fucking chain for like two years now talking about how morals are fucking gay, religion's fucking gay, Jesus is fucking gay, all men are gay, being gay is awesome, and, and so on and so forth. And now, at this point, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, abortion. That's terrible, man. That's really bad. That whole boardy shit. And it's like, is this like a new put upon? Is, is this like a thing now where you're going to pretend you're going to try to go back to it and be like, I know I got rebaptized. I'm born again. <laughs> All my sins are forgiven. <laughs> Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.